Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about dating success for men. The topic for this video is make her feel feminine by being a male. Okay, here is a tip. Your emotional state will reflect on her. When you are out there dating, if you are extremely confident and in power, happy about yourself, all these qualities are going to reflect on the women you speak to. Okay, this is very simple. It has to do with simply with exchange of energies. Your emotional state is going to reflect on her. So if you are a person who tends to be self-absorbed or insecure, that's how she's going to feel as well. And her, as a woman, what she wants to feel is feminine. When she can go into her, into her own feminine power, it makes her feel really good. So she wants to feel sexy, she wants to feel beautiful, she wants to feel feminine. And the best way for her to feel that is if you behave and feel and are male. When you are male, what you are doing is you are expressing your power. You are expressing your masculine power. You are expressing your confidence. And this is going to reflect on her in a positive way, which is going to give her the space to actually be feminine. Okay? But these are simply dynamics, uh, you know, personal dynamics, energy dynamics between people. This happens all the time. And if you are in the dating scene, this is probably one of the greatest clues you have to remember at all times when you are out there dating. You have to be male. You have to behave like a male. And to do that, you have to express your confidence and your power. Why she needs your power? Again, because on an energy level, this is going to make her feel good. If she feels feminine, it's going to give her this sense of, uh, of energy where she can be herself. And it has also to do with very old instincts that we have embedded in ourselves. Okay? Imagine that you live uh, 40,000 years ago you, you know, in nature as a tribe. You, you meet this woman, what she's going to look for you is the ability for you to protect her also because there were lots of dangers in that time, right? And you have to be, as a male, able, you have to be able to protect the family, the children that are going to be born so that she doesn't get in trouble with other males or other tribes around, okay? This has to do with very old instinctual impulses that are still around, they are still around in us, we don't actually consciously look at them, we don't talk about them on a daily basis, but they actually tend to regulate lots of our decisions, actions and instincts. So if you come across a woman you are interested in dating, this is uh, an aspect of the dynamics of what you're going to share, which is still going to determine if she likes you or not, if she's attracted to you or not. Being attracted to you is going to be totally instinctual. It's not a conscious mental decision. It's something that happens on an energy level because she recognizes in you uh, qualities, emotional qualities that she feels are a good match for her, okay? So this happens totally on an instinctual level. It has to do again with a very old, um, you know, programming that we have embedded in our minds. So the question that you can ask, you heard that before, right? A woman will often say something like, you know, tell me about your feelings. She wants to hear more about who you are inside and she wants you to open up when you are in a relationship with her. So this is a bit contradictory because on, this, on one hand, she wants you to be extremely confident and empowered. On, on the other hand, she will want you to open up, be sensitive. And this is one of the key contradictions we are going to check in another video. Okay, not this one because this is a whole topic. It has to do with the need for emotional intimacy that she has as well. But this is another need. Now the next, uh, the next question which is very important is how to express your power. The key word to remember is very simple, just confidence. Anytime you are behaving and being confident, she will respond to you in a positive way. And this is the, 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 the key word you have to remember. Everything that you do in the dating scene in relating with women has to do with expressing your power and your confidence. If you maintain that, you're already, you know, increasing your, your dating skills and getting your dating power to 80% of, of your ability. You, you do the basics, you know, grooming, personal care, all that, having some, you know, some smart topics to talk about, all that is, is fine, but the key word really that you have to remember is really confidence. You keep that inside of you and anytime you step into the dating scene, you want to build 
your attitude, your strategies around this keyword, confidence and being in power. The way to express this confidence and this power, uh, you know, you can express it also in other ways, for instance, in, in your body, in your, in your level of vitality and health, all that is very important. Uh, what a woman will recognize is a sense also of emotional maturity that you have inside of you. If you, you know, really behave in a way which is emotionally immature, then she's going to be turned off by that. Emotional immaturity has to do with the fact that you still didn't master, you know, the way, the way you work in life. Be somebody who can really, you know, give her this sense of uh, emotional security that she needs as well at a certain moment. There are as well uh, negative expressions of power, and these ones are very important to remember, don't go that way. These have to do with uh, having demanding or controlling attitudes, being a jealous guy. All these uh, side tracks actually send the wrong signal because you are expressing your power too much in a controlling way. What you are sending out is a message, I want to control you, control your life, and this is not the good signal. Another side track, another possible side track, which is actually not giving you the results you expect, is being a provider, giving her money or offering her material security. Even though this can be perceived as something really good to, to do for a woman, it's usually going to send out the wrong signal for her because it shifts the balance of power between the two of you and you put yourself down. So it doesn't mean that on the long term it's not something that you can do for each other, but you have to be very, very careful in the way you approach it. Right now, what you want uh, is to establish uh, a balance of power between the two of you, which is really healthy. You don't want to put yourself down and uh, make her feel like you are uh, totally enslaved to her. If she feels like you are needy uh, and that you are ready to give up your life for her needs, then that's not the right signal. It tells her actually that you don't have some form of control over your own life and she's going to respond to that in a negative way by putting you down and by actually taking uh, some form of emotional distance from you, okay? So for now, remember this, make her feel feminine by behaving like a male. We will come back to this topic because it's an essential one. For now, you take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.